In this tutorial, I am sharing with you guys a very simple and easy text animation technique for DaVinci Resolve 16 that you can use as a title intro for your project. So I am Vikash for a Skyline Motions and without any further ado, let's take a new project and get started. Alright, so let's start by creating a new project. So click on this new project and let's call it title and click on create. And we have to do some basic setting first. So click on this little gear icon over here and set the size of this project 1920 by 1080. Let's go with 30 or 60 FPS. So let's go with 30 FPS and set this playback frame rate 30 and click on save. And now let's create this motion graphics inside of this fusion page. So we have to take a new fusion composition. So just go ahead and right click on this media pool and click on this new fusion composition. And let's call it fusion comp and set this duration five second long and frame rate 30 and click on create. And drag this fusion comp on the timeline and then go to your fusion page. And here we get media out. So just drag this media out node to the side for now. And let's take a background. So click on this background button to add a background node and drag this background to the viewer. Hit F2 on the keyboard to rename and let's call it background. Hit OK and select this background and go to this uh, inspector window and set this uh, white color for now and just drag it over here. And let's take a text node. So click on this T button to add a text node. Hit F2 on the keyboard and let's call it text. Hit OK and drag this text to the viewer and just set it like this. And let's type anything, whatever you want to type. So I'm going to type you can. And select your favorite font style. So in this case, I'm using this Go Bold font style. And of course, you can choose any different font style that you want and set it to regular and set the size of this text something around 0.26 hit enter and set this tracking amount 1.05 maybe and hit enter and let's animate this size. So just go to on frame number 60, which is equal to two second according to 30 FPS. So right click on this size, click on animate or you can also click on this diamond button to create a keyframe and then go to very beginning of this animation and let's down the size a bit and set this value something around 0.2 hit enter. All right. And then go to on frame number 90, which is equal to three seconds and let's uh, down the size a bit and set this value something around 0.25 hit enter. All right, and then go to the end of this animation and let's uh, down the size again and set this value 0.2 hit enter. All right, and go to very beginning of this animation and let's play this. And we have a very basic animation. So let's make a smooth animation. So just go to a spline window, hit F4 to full screen and check this text and click on fit button and just set the size of this and select all the keyframes hit s to smooth and set the cti at very beginning of this animation at frame number zero and hold this handle and just drag it like that and create a nice smooth curve like this and then go to the end of this animation at frame number 150 and hold this point and just set it over here and create a nice smooth curve like this and then close this spline window and go to very beginning of this animation and let's have a look all right so as you can see it's looking much more better and now let's merge this both output so i'm going to use this text as a foreground and this one as a background so connect the output of this foreground with the background and we get this new merge and drag this merge one to the viewer. All right. And now select this text and let's change the color of the text. So select this and go to this inspector window. And right now we have white color. So let's make it black. Hit OK. And as you can see, it's looking like this. And now right click on this flow window, go to arrange tool and check this option to turn on the grid snapping and snap this node on the grid like this. And then 
just go to on frame number 30 and select this text and go to this inspector window and just drag it down and here is right on property so let's animate this right on so just uh, click on this diamond button to create a keyframe on right on property and go to very beginning of this animation and just set this end value zero and as you can see we get this type of effect and then go to on frame number 120 which is equal to four second and click on this diamond button again to create one more keyframe and then go to the end of this animation and for this time let's set this uh, start value something around one all right and as you can see we have a basic animation so go to a spline window hit f4 to full screen and for this time uncheck this size and uncheck this start and check this end parameter only and click on fit button and as you can see we have two unwanted keyframe over here so just select this and hit delete button all right and then click on this fit button and select these two keyframes and hit s to smooth and do the same thing for this one so uncheck this end and check this start property and click on fit button and as you can see we have two unwanted keyframe over here also so just select this and hit delete button and click on this fit button again and select these both keyframes hit s to smooth and close this spline window all right now select this merge one and hit control plus a space bar for search box and search for invert and select this invert color hit add button and drag this invert to the viewer and as you can see we get this type of effect and now i'm going to create a rectangular effect mask so click on this rectangle button to add a rectangular mask and attach this rectangle mask with this blue point and just select this rectangle and just set it like this and just go to this inspector window and set this width value something around one hit enter and set this height value 0.4 maybe and hit enter and just rotate it by 60 degree hit enter all right and now i'm gonna animate this uh, rectangular mask so just set it over here and set this uh, center x value 0.57 hit enter and go to on frame number 60 which is equal to two second and then right click on this center and click on animate or you can also click on this diamond button to create a keyframe on center property and go to very beginning of this animation and just drag this rectangular mask outside of this frame over here maybe and set this uh, center x value in round figure negative point three hit enter all right and now go to on frame number 90 which is equal to three second and just drag it over here and set this value 0 0.43 hit enter all right and then go to the end of this animation and finally just drag this rectangular mask outside of this frame like this and set this round figure 1.3 hit enter all right and as you can see we have a very basic animation so let's make a smooth animation so just go to a spline window hit f4 to full screen and for this time uncheck this text and check this rectangle one only and click on fit button and select all the keyframes hit s to smooth and set the cti at frame number zero and hold this handle and just set it like this and create a nice smooth curve and then go to the end of this animation at frame number 150 maybe and hold this handle and just set it like this and create a nice smooth curve and then close this spline window and go to the very beginning of this animation and let's play this again All right, so it's looking much more better. And finally, drag this media out over here and connect the output of this node with this media out. And as you can see, it's almost done. 
so just go to your edit page and now if you want to create multiple text then select this fusion comp hit ctrl c to copy and paste it over here by hitting ctrl v and set the cti over here and go to fusion tab again and let's change the text and then go to the edit tab and do the same thing for third one so just set the cti over here and go to fusion page and select this text and type your third line whatever you want to type then go to the edit tab and now it's ready for render so just go to the very beginning of this animation and click on this loop button and let's have a look all right so it's looking nice and that's all for this tutorial guys i hope you like it if you like it then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified when i will upload my new video and i will see you in next tutorial till then bye bye